Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Please subscribe if you haven't yet already. It's a red button beneath me somewhere and if you click on that you'll be subscribed. There's also a white bell next to that and if you click on that you will get an alert every time I upload new content and if you like this video please click the thumbs up button. That would make me very happy. Today's video is a I only look, I have my face makeup on, with the Carity Hanukkah palette. So it's not really a palette. What Carity did, and I'm reading over here, Carity Cosmetics has this thing that they're calling the Happy Holidays Bundle. So this is Hanukkah. Hanukkah happens before Christmas, so I'm doing Hanukkah first. And the colors in here are more kind of Hanukkah colors. The traditional colors for Hanukkah are silver and blue. And then the Christmas ones are more kind of reds and greens and earthy kind of colors. So it says the limited edition Christmas and Hanukkah palettes with travel holiday chambers. So these are all, that's why it's not really a palette. These are all individual shadows that you just put in however you want to. Make gift giving a whole lot easier this season. These reusable magnetic chambers allow you to store, organize, and travel with your 18 festive single shadows so you can look your best this holiday season wherever you celebrate. And so these are all regular Carity colors. The regular price for all these colors will be 96 and the bundle is 52. So it is a, a discount if you're getting it as the bundle. But these are all colors that are not limited edition. They're regular Carity colors. And the colored names are a little iffy, but they're pretty. And I think the only other Carity thing that I've shown on here is the bright colors that I did when I did CMYK for Halloween. I'll put a link in the description box down below for that palette. But all the shadows that I've tried from Carity have been great. And, but I haven't tried this yet. So I'm going to try this live with you for the first time. I will show you some finger swatches, which I know are not always accurate, an accurate reflection of how they look with brushes, but just want to show you because this is not a palette or these are not shadows that you'll see out there very often. So I'll show you a thing of swatches and then I'll jump into my makeup. All right, so here's the palette and the colors. First color is Glamazon. Tees. Dime Piece. Ooh, and Hustler. Fetish, Jinx, Enable, and then I'm skipping the middle one, unfortunately, Wrath, and then the one in the middle is called Birthday Sweet. It's very, very close to my own skin color, so you can hardly see it. All right. I've already gone in with my MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Now I'm going to go in with Birthday Sweet over my whole lid just to kind of dry everything down a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with kind of a mid-sized blending brush with tees. So this is not too big and not too small. It's kind of the Goldilocks of brushes. So this palette itself doesn't have a lot of mattes. The mattes that it has are colors. So this and the first one that I did, Birthday Sweet, are kind of the only neutral mattes that it has, which is totally fine because this is designed to be, it's designed to be a standalone, but it's also, these are all individual shadows. And when I'm done doing the Christmas and the Hanukkah, get ready with me, get ready with me. Still not sure where the plural is on that. But when I'm done doing those, I'll probably just break these down into other palettes because I don't, having a, they're nice palettes to have. The nine pans are nice to have, but they have a lot more than that. It's not really practical. All right. And I'm actually gonna go in with a much finer crease brush with the same color. Just hit it right in my crease to just try to deepen that up a little bit more. Actually, that's nice. It's nice. I've actually never done that before now that I think about it. I've never used a color this dark kind of all over and then gone in with the, I'm getting, I'm not sure what I'm saying here. I think what I'm saying is that I'm using this color, same color for just two different purposes. And I see two different colors, not colors, but hues and shades of the color. It's definitely more blown out and diffused with that fluffier brush but I'm definitely getting a lot of control with this. This is a nice, I've really enjoyed all of the colors that I've ever used from Carity before. The pigmentation is really good. I, I use a, I always use some kind of a base and today I'm, I am using my MAC Painterly Paint Pop, but I do always use a base. So I don't feel like it's, you know, 
I feel like it's still an accurate representation of it when I'm using the base with this. All right, I think I'm going to use that same brush and I'm gonna go in with Jinx, which seems like a really dark navy. And I'm gonna tap the heck out of this and I'm even gonna just rub some on my, my arm just because I don't wanna make this be, wow, that is pigmented. Wow. Yeah, there's not much powder on here. Can you see that? Is that, yeah, that's picking up. Okay. And then I think what I'm gonna do is go in with my big, not big, but with my Real Techniques, the bigger of the two blending brushes and just blow this out a little bit more on the top. And I'll take this brush and go back into Birthday Suite same brush and I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit on my brow bone just to lighten that up a little bit. That's a lot of color. That is good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with Fetish, get in with the color names. So this is, when I did a finger swatch, well it's, it's actually pretty. My concern is that it's not going to apply as true to color without some kind of mixing medium, but I'm just gonna go in and if it doesn't look as dark as I want it to look, I'll go in with my MAC Fix Plus. So I'm going in with a flat brush. This is one of the ColourPop brushes. And I'm gonna try to hit it in the center of my lens. Pretty pigmented. Pick up a little more, tap it off. Yeah, that is pretty pigmented. I like my blues to be kind of in your face, obviously, kind of like a, if you're gonna go blue, you gotta go Gotta go, gotta go hard with it, I guess. I do. Yeah, no fallout. I am trying to be careful about tapping and I'm also trying to be careful about pressing and not just kind of getting fluffiness all over the place because I don't wanna get fallout on my face, but yeah, that is pretty. And that's with no mixing medium. So the Swatch on my hand is nice, but it doesn't look as good as it does, which is often the case. It doesn't look as good as it does as when I'm applying it with a brush. So I'm gonna try to pack this on. I'm trying to bring it up to my crease as much as possible. And fill in the spots. It's not patchy, but I'm just trying to cover everything evenly. Cause I can see that I'm kind of, it's not like I'm going in with one coat or two coats. I can see that I have some places like closer to my lid that I haven't, or to my lash line that I haven't really applied much on. I'm gonna go back in and apply a little more on this eye and a little more up in my crease. Not in my crease, but just up to my crease. And I'm gonna use my finger. I don't know why, sometimes I, I go too high on the inner corner of this eye. I don't know why I do that. I'm gonna go in with a clean Morphe M124 brush with dime piece. And I'm gonna hit that right in the center of my lid. Wow. That is really pretty. And again, no mixing medium. Wow. Okay, okay, Carity. That's colorful. I'm gonna flip this over, just highly pigmented is what I mean. Just blend this a little bit out. Gonna go back in with that ColourPop brush. And I'm gonna go in with Wrath. Uh, just flip it over and do it on the other side, on the outer corner, just to darken that up a little bit. And then in my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with this really small undefined MAC brush from a long time ago with Glamazon. And I'm gonna hit that in my inner corner. Also really pretty. It's not, it's pretty. I think that the silver color like bowled me over. But yeah, these are really pretty pigmented colors. I go in one last time, again, with a crease brush and tease, just to kind of bring that all together. All right, I will do 
liner, lashes, and lips, and I'll be right back with some final thoughts. All right, so this is the finished look. I am really happy with this. I used my Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. I used my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I used Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in Los Angelinos. And this is just the pigment that I'm getting without using a white base and without using any kind of mixing medium is just out of control. So I'll definitely be using col these colors in the future. I may or may not do another Hanukkah thing, but I also have the Christmas palette coming up too. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your time. A lot to do in the world and a lot to do on YouTube. And it means a lot to me that you took some time to spend with me here today. Take care and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.